Are you poor this Christmas? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. When you hear about a product being recalled by the manufacturer, it typically is a device with a defective part, a toy that is a choking hazard, automobiles with life-threatening defects, toasters and baby seats. How often have you heard of a book being recalled? What if we told you it happened because of the risks of explosion? In November 1977, Random House released Woman's Day Crockery Cuisine. It was a cookbook containing numerous recipes to be made in a crock pot. Pages 230 and 231 featured a recipe for silky caramel slices. The recipe was described as a remarkable sweet, super rich and exotic. No one will ever guess its origins. What no one would have guessed was that it was a recipe for disaster. The instructions called for the cook to put an unopened can of condensed milk in the crock, cover and cook four hours on high. If you followed those instructions, you would indeed get something remarkable and exotic, but not in any way you would expect. About two hours after completing these steps, the can would blow up, sending the glass shards of the crock pot cover all over your kitchen. The problem arose from omitting an important step in the recipe. You are also supposed to add water to surround the can. Without this crucial step, the superheated condensed milk becomes overpressurized and what should have been a sweet snack turns into an injury-laden nightmare. The company issued the recall of the cookbook, resulting in the first and thus far only time a cookbook was recalled due to the risk that one of the recipes could cause a serious explosion. In last night's gospel reading on the Nativity of the Lord, we reflect on the verse, She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. We grew up perhaps in a Christmas atmosphere where excitement was prevalent for giving and receiving Christmas gifts, decorating the Christmas tree, having Christmas reunions, and even going to the Simbangabi or Dawn Masses, and having our family not Chibrena. Yes, we all like Christmas and its colorful, noisy, and glittery facet. But have we really truly understood and appreciated its meaning? Have we been led to do things that would exemplify the reason for Christmas? Jesus is the reason for Christmas. He is the gift of God to mankind. But He came in the most humble surroundings, in a manger, where cows and animals were sheltered and fed, where His coming was not heralded by a majestic and pompous celebration, but His welcomers were shepherds and animals. Why was He born in such decrepit surroundings? Because there was no room in the inn. We will be spending today, and maybe it may have started last night, having our family celebrations. But when the noise and merrymaking have died down, we can just sit back to thank the Lord and reflect deeply on the contrast between our partying and the simplicity and poverty of the arrival of our King of Kings. It behooves us then to make this Christmas truly what it was intended to be for those who are living in poverty. It is a poverty that spans the whole gamut of man's existence from material poverty to the plague that has infested billions, an interior poverty of one basking in shallow puddles of faith. And this has resulted in broken relationships, anger for the world, confusion and depression, pangs of anxiety, in other words, a lack of peace, joy, and hope. If we let God enter into our poverty, in our need, and it is a choice we must make daily, God will not hesitate. He will gladly come into our mangers and change our swaddling clothes of helplessness into His regal robes of peace and contentment, lasting joy and perpetual hope. When we have understood the true meaning of Christmas, we would have found the right recipe for living. Christmas will not just be a day, a week, or a month. It will be with us every single day of our life. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, May this Christmas and every day be an opportunity for me to desire for you to enter into my poverty, 
and give me peace, joy, and hope. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed Christmas to you and your family. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.